Hi guys, it's Electronic Underground. Uh, Merry Christmas if you're getting this at Christmas or just a little bit after. This is the third in my series of Asperger's dyspraxia videos. Uh, I just want to apologise for being a bit MIA lately. I've been busy with piano practice and finding a job and I've just been really tired and I've been sort of recovering and catching my breath after doing the grade 3 exam. Um, I do actually have a video up now of me playing a uh, song called Numb by the Pet Shop Boys so if you want to check that out and you know, see, see what you think um, I just want to tell you how Asperger's and dyspraxia sort of affects me socially first of all that can be quite difficult I can be with friends people I've known all my life and I just feel awkward I'd feel like I shouldn't be there I feel alien I feel like their ways are different to mine even though we've got tons in common um, this can be a problem if it's big groups really you know I don't do that very well I don't speak in big groups I just don't do it everyone is sort of chattering away and I think I can't do this I can't deal with it you know and it's like you stay silent uh, sometimes they notice you know sometimes they don't I'm not saying they should notice but it's it's hard for me I mean when I was at university I hung around with a bunch of people I didn't really click with because I'm, I was that, you know, not desperate, but I thought I'd try and make the effort, you know, try and make friends. So I got in with the group and I found one member of the group. He was, I think he had autism or something, which is, you know, I have no problem with that, but he was very rude to me. And he was like, oh, it's the autism, you know. And he had a go at me about something. He was, he missed interpreted what I was saying because we were having a discussion because at the time I was having a lot of stomach problems and he said he mentioned what I thought it could be and I said well I don't know and he asked me the question again what do you think it could be I said look I don't know and then he mumbled something and walked off now this kind of offended me you know I thought I couldn't work out what was going on I mean my one of my friends I really clicked with she was like what's the matter and I said well you know the guys upset me you know I, I it wasn't some, well a little bit but I couldn't work out what he meant you know that I, I found him to be very rude and he used the old next time we met he said oh well, he said I hope you don't think I'm having a go at you and I said well actually I thought you did and then he, he tried to touch my shoulder and I'm like yeah what are you doing he said oh you know if if ever anything like that happens again we should talk about it and I'm like no I don't want to talk to you you know, it's not the fact he's got autism. Autism, you know, he used, he used that as an excuse. You know, I would never do that. You know, a rude person to rude person. Full stop. If I'm rude to someone, then I will apologise. You know, obviously, people argue. You know, I'm very. One thing I will say about myself is I'm very self-aware. I would never ever say, oh, you know, I've got Asperger's and dyspraxia. That's why I do this. You know, I'm just. You know, I. I'm blatantly honest with people, you know, but this guy was just way over the top, and he got together with his little clique, well, I'd say big clique of, they were what I call the, you know, brain foundation, they were really clever, and, you know, really good, you know, they were getting A's and this, and I was sort of an average student, I'd get a few A's, and they were, oh, you know, you should come and join us, you always do everything on your own, and they were moaning, and I said, well, I like doing things on my own, you know, in my mind, you know, I'm like the Howard Jones of the education system. I do everything on my own. I mean, I do the assignments, the PowerPoint. I hate group work. I hate working. Okay, you can get a few good ideas, but I just didn't click. You know, even with people, as I said, with people I know, if it was with people I, I really, you know, clicked with, I'd still feel uncomfortable. But these people are just, oh, horrible. I don't know, you know, and I think... I was very misunderstood in the class because I wouldn't, I would sit on my own, I would, I'd prefer to sit on my own and then um, I remember I was sat in the classroom, I was on my own, I, I feel comfortable, I don't like being squashed in among people and someone says, oh, you know, does he smell? Because I want to sit next to the guy and I said, I don't know, I said, why don't you ask him? I said, I don't know, <laughs> yeah. I said, it's not a very nice thing to say about him, is it? You know, he's like... They, they're saying, oh, there's an established way of sitting down and you should follow, you know, bollocks to you, you know. Like, I want my own space, that's how I'm comfortable. You know, and speaking out in class, I got a little bit better at but I, I'd rather just keep quiet, you know, rather than sort of go on for too long. And I, I think sometimes 
I don't give myself enough credit, you know, because there, there have been times when I've really shone, but some of them are very few and far between. As I said, I hate group work, and I, I wouldn't join their, their team anyway. I, I stayed on my own. I'm, I stuck to my guns, and I'm glad I did, because these people, you know, they're more like acquaintances. Well, I wouldn't even call them that, you know. It was like, as it suited them, they would speak to you, you know. And it was just wrong, really, on so many levels. Uh, anybody else? Uh, going out can be quite difficult. I know, you know, even if it's something like a leisure trip. I mean, like today I went up the shopping centre and I found that I find every time I leave the house difficult. I mean, I know I've got to get a bus. I know I've got to go to the centre. But to me, it seems like the hardest thing in the world. I keep thinking it's harder than it actually is and when I get up there I mean no one likes crowds but the crowds are just there and I can't deal with it very well I, I sometimes walk in the wrong direction or I walk you know slowly or not quick enough or I, I sometimes have to dive into the nearest shop because that's how bad I find it sometimes so it takes an awful lot for me to compose myself to actually do a simple task as going out and just shopping you know, I mean, I've got better, I think. I think you do, really. I mean, with repetition, you sort of feel the fear and do it. Seems to be my favourite saying, feeling the fear and doing it. You know, and with people, sometimes having a conversation can be difficult because, uh, I don't know, find what trying to find what they mean when they say, when they say certain things. I mean, one example is I was on Facebook recently and, someone had hurt themselves and I put are you okay and one of my friends put oh you know I ask you so and I thought what does that mean I wasn't offended I I just couldn't see the logic of putting that I wasn't offended at all because it was a joke I think but I was like well what does that mean you know and I spent the last hour trying to work out what what does that mean and I I, I put did you just call me and ask you so and he was like joking mate and I'm like well what it doesn't make any sense and that person thought I was offended I'm not offended it just doesn't make any sense logically you know in the logic sense you know thinking about it why would I be an ass kisser it doesn't it just doesn't make sense anyway uh, you know it's like things like that you know but mind you maybe it was a stupid thing I think it's a stupid thing to say anyway you know but if I'd have said that, I thought that was very stupid. That would have offended my friend. And I don't really like offending people. Um, people are saying you should be more assertive. You should do this. You should do that. You know, I'm like, well, I'm me. This is who I am, you know. I don't ask you to, to change. Yes, there are things I could do better, but this is who I am. And, you know, I'm not... I will. I'm all for self-development and, and all that, but I'm not going to change just to appease you you know I, I get really sick of um, societal dictates society dictates that you should do this and you should do that because it's the way you should do it you know we're all individuals at the end of the day and we should all I think follow our hearts you know if God made us all the same wanted to make us all the same this place would be pretty boring you know we all have different ideas and different approaches and different ways of going about things that's what makes the human race so brilliant so having Asperger's and dyspraxia you know, is, to me is a good thing I think in some ways because you you sort of are able to think a lot more deeper than most and really really focus your attention on things when you want to although sometimes I do must make mistakes and I just zone out like the other day I, I just zoned out for some reason you know, I know that's me, that's who I am, and I've come to accept that, and, you know, I want to put a positive spin on it, rather than a negative, because there are a lot of people out there, and all due respect, I, I really empathise with the situation and things, but, you know, a lot of them, it's every week is how, how this affects me, you know, it's really sad, I'm thinking, well, you know, let's be happy about it, you know, you should be proud of who you are and what you're doing, you know, because we're all special, everybody, it doesn't matter, what you are, colour, creed, race, religion, we're all human, we're all we're all special, we've all got special traits and things. Anyway, I've got to wrap this up now because I'm running out of time. Thank you very, very much. Merry Christmas and see you next time.